hello and welcome back to my channel glory to jesus and to mary and joseph please as you listen subscribe to my channel after argentina's victory at the 2022 world cup in qatar a promise made by soccer superstar Lionel messi to the virgin mary has resurfaced will he fulfill it Lionel messi 35 played his fifth world cup wearing argentina's jersey and the team became world champion by beating France on Sunday. Considered one of the best players in the world, Messi has won 40 titles, 34 with football club Barcelona in Spain, two with Paris PSG in France, and four with the Argentine national team. In his career, according to his own words, this was missing to be world champion as a member of his country's team. In 2014, the team of which he is captain reached the final in the World Cup in Brazil, where they lost to Germany. In Russia in 2018, Argentina was left out of the competition in the round of 16. It was precisely at that World Cup that he made a special promise to the Virgin in an interview in Moscow with the Argentine journalist Martin Arevalu, Messi was challenged by the reporter to walk to Lujan or to San Nicolas, two of the most important shrines in Argentina, if the team won the World Cup. Lujan, Argentina, is the site of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lujan, the patroness of the country, which every year attracts millions of pilgrims. In San Nicolas, a city near Rosario, Messi's birthplace, is the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of San Nicolas, which has a history of Marian apparitions that began in 1983 with messages from the Virgin to Gladys Quiroga de Mato, Mata. The apparitions were approved by the Catholic Church on May 22, 2016, through a decree signed by the then Bishop of San Nicolas, Hector Cadeli. Cadeli. In 2018 Moscow interview, Messi promised that he would walk from his home in the town of Arroyo Seco to the Basilica of San Nicolas, a distance of about 24 miles, and shook hands with the journalist as a sign of commitment. Player number 10 on Barcelona's team, who is playing the World Cup with the Argent Argentine selection, promised that if Argentina wins the World Cup, he will go on a pilgrimage on foot from his house to the Marian Shrine of St. Nicholas. Martin Arevalo, a, record, a reporter for TYC Sports, suggested to Messi, he said to Messi, if we end up as world champions, should we go walking to the shrine of Lujan or St. Nicholas? Messi laughed, thought it over and answered, choosing the shrine that's closest to his home, a shrine that was born and grew practically at the same time at, as him, just 50 kilometers, 32 miles from his hometown of Arroyo Seco. Yes, yes, of course, to St. Nicholas, he said and he sealed his commitment by shaking the reporter's hand. Sergio Alcon Aguero, another player on the team, joined in, joined in on the promise, worried about having to set us from Buenos Aires to San Nicolas, which would be a distance of nearly 300 kilometers by 188 miles. Alcon said he would share in the commitment that Messi made with the reporter, but he would leave from Messi's house, not his own house. When he found out how much shorter the distance would be, he equipped he would do it with running. He said he's going to go to the shrine, but this time, since he has considered the distance from Messi's house to the shrine, that he will going to run from Messi's house to the shrine. At the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of St. Nicholas, they will be waiting for them with open arms, and they would even go out to meet them. The news outlet talked to 
council men, Manuel Pasegla, in charge of the district of the town of San Nicolas de los Arogos, and asked if he would welcome Messi. He replied that he would wait for him with a meal of grilled stick and will accompany him walking from the door of his house. The shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of San Nicolas has a very short history. The devotion was born due to events in 1983, just four years before Lionel Messi was born in nearby Rosario. It all started when several rosaries in various houses in San Nicolas reportedly start various roses. In, very, in various roses started growing in their houses in St. Nicholas. Then, on September 25th of that same year, the Blessed Virgin is said to have appeared to a married lay woman who was praying as a result of these strange happenings. Mary asked the woman to find an image of her that had been blessed by a Pope and which had been forgotten. An image with these characteristics was found in the bell tower of the cathedral in the diocese, and it was a representation of Our Lady of the Rosary. Can you imagine? A couple of years later, construction was begun on a shrine which today receives hundreds of thousands of pilgrims each year. It was built over a period of 25, 28 years with the support of the bishop and his successors and the generous economic contributions of the pilgrims. The shrine was completed in 2014 and is located at what is popularly known as El Campito, the little field, on the shore of the Parana River. During his career, Messi has shown devotion to God and to be a believer. After winning the World Cup, his statement to the press did not omit the role that he attributes to the Lord in the victory. I knew that God was going to grant this gift to me. I had a, present, a, present, a presentiment that it was going to be this, he told the TYC Sports television channel. Messi went to the privilege. Messi said that if our lady is going to will grant his request of becoming or winning the World Cup with his national team, that she, he is going to walk from his house to Our Lady of the Rosary Shrine, which is close to his house. And now, people are beginning to ask, now that Our Lady has granted Messi's uh, request, by Messi winning the World Cup with the uh, national team, will Messi still remember the promise he made to Our Lady by walking from his house to the shrine? Well, let us keep watching and see what happens and what becomes of Messi. But I'm sure that he is going to remember now that people are beginning to question him and ask him, Messi, will you remember or will you still go to the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary to thank her for granting you your request? Although he had already attributed his victory that it was granted to him by God. That it was God and he knew that God was going to grant this gift to him. He was, he was certain about that. And we congratulate him and congratulate his family, his wife, his children and everybody that loves him. Mercy. Indeed, this year's World Cup with France wasn't a tight play at all. At all. But indeed, God granted him his request and his gift. And you can see he's rejoicing his wife, his children, his kids, and everybody is just so happy with Messi. He played well. He played so well. Outstanding. Outstanding. So very much outstanding. So Messi, we congratulate you and we rejoice with you. We rejoice with you for this precious gift God has given to you, which is so dear to you and which you have always longed for. And now... Your football career is completed now with all the goals, all the calls and everything. Everything is now completed. We rejoice with your family. See what a lovely family you have there. And we also thank you and also remind you of the promise you made to our ladies. So you're going to walk with, from your home with the reporter as well as your friend that is going to run to the shrine of our lady to thank our lady for what she did for you through her intercession. So we pray that God is going to also answer our prayer through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary as Our Lady interceded on the life of mercy, that mercy's uh, ambition and mercy's uh, intention was granted through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary. 
Our Lady of Rosary, pray for us.